Hello everyone, my name is John. Today, I will tell you how to set up uploading new contacts from HubSpot to Salesforce. This is necessary in order to automatically transfer new contacts from HubSpot to other systems. For example, in Salesforce you can create new contacts, conveniently store, process and interact with them in every possible way in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, you need to select the HubSpot data source system. Next, you need to choose an action. Get contacts, new. Next, you need to connect your HubSpot account to the Apex Drive system. In this window, we need to specify the API key in order to get it. Go to the HubSpot personal account. Then go to settings. Now go to the integrations section API key. Click show to see the API key. Copy the API key and paste it into the corresponding field in the Apex Drive system. When the required field is filled click Save. When the connected login is displayed in the list select it. There are no additional settings for the HubSpot system, so just click Continue. At this stage, you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click Continue. At this stage, you see data for one of your contacts, if everything suits you, click Next. This completes the HubSpot data source setup. Now you need to go to the data reception settings. Select Salesforce as the data receiving system. Next, you need to select an action. Create contacts. At this point you need to connect your Salesforce account to the Apex Drive system. In this window you need to specify the login and password of your Salesforce account. When the connected login is displayed in the list, select it. At this point, you see the Salesforce fields for creating new contacts. You can assign variables from HubSpot to these fields. In order to do this, click in the field and select a variable from the drop-down list. Note that you can use not only variables, but also write values manually. To go to the next line use Enter. When all the required fields are filled, click Continue. At this point, you see an example of the data that will be sent to Salesforce as new contacts for each new contact from HubSpot. If something does not suit you, click Edit and go back a step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Salesforce. After successful submission, go to Salesforce and check the result. If everything suits you, we return to the Apex Drive system and continue the configuration.
This completes the Salesforce data ingestion setup successfully. Now you need to enable auto update and select the communication interval, for example, once every five minutes. That's all, I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.